So I met a widower uh, who I also three kids. He was the one who planned his wife funeral with me. So this was supposed to be in the third edition, if we ever make it to third okay. edition. Okay. And and after and I say this in another episode that after I met him, I was very very affected. And I met him because you know he was pre planning for his wife, and his wife is very young. And I met him, and we spoke for three hours just this year. And he finally said it was like almost one and a half years after his wife has passed. And then he shared he shared with me that you know everyone look at me like as if I'm okay. Right, because like exactly like you, you don't show it. But a lot of times we are suffering, but we just don't want people to be worried for us. And he, instead of him being consoled, he has to console another guy who is also a widower for many years compared to him. And he is trying to nudge this guy to ask a girl out. Then he asked me like, you know, Angelie, I also wonder when I can start moving on, because her house and her things are still in the house. They haven't removed it, and probably the same for you. They just he doesn't want to touch anything. Yeah, it's <laughs> guilty, right? But it's okay, you know. We all take time, and we need time. So he mentioned to me that he actually wanted to. He decided, yeah, sometime this year. He's gonna clean up. He's gonna get things done. He actually met me because he wanted to do pre-planning. He wanted to do his will. He wanted to get his matter and affairs settled because his youngest, I think, is 11. So he just like, oh, I want to do this because you know I don't want this to leave to chances again. And then he said he wanted to move out from the matrimonial house, and it's a big move. He's like, ah, I don't know how to tell my kids. So we sat there to speak, like talking for three hours, almost four, and we're just like constant, you know, like sharing about. And I know he needed someone to talk to. So I was there. Uh, thank God I catered that much time before my next appointment, and I was grateful uh, that I was able to hear his side of his story. And he actually told me, like, you know, Angelie, it's not easy for a widower to go back to dating life. I said, really? Why? And he said, because his my wife was my first girlfriend. I don't know how to date. And he actually told me that. And but I didn't want to say like, well, I'll just talk to a girl like you and me. Like you're just talking to me, just be friends. But I didn't say that. Of course, I feel like that probably crossed the professional line, right? But because of what he did for his wife, and I, I might have mentioned to you, I came back asking Emmanuel. I said, baby, do you think it's better you go first or I go first? Wow, he was quite. You know, he's quite upset about it. Not upset because I asked such a question, right? Yes, yeah, so you know he. That, you know that. Yeah, so like he tried to be a macho, you know, tough man, but actually, oh, he's he's more emotional than me. Then the next day, he said, "Maybe I think it's better I go first. Yeah, and I said, "Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. I think because he can't, probably can't manage my daughter's, you know." Vomit and like the poo poo and all that. I mean, he doesn't even change the diaper. You think he can manage all this? And I even asked him, I said, Can you manage if I'm not here? He said, I have to manage, right? It's not a choice. He said that. I said, Yeah, but you don't even know like where the diaper, front or back. I have to remind him like the front and the, the one with the tape is the back. You know, all this kind of like swimsuit also. Like, baby, can you wear the swimsuit? Then my daughter come out with the wrong cross. The cross is the front. I said, Okay, <laughs> you know, but but that's my 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 man for you. But but it was so important to have that conversation with him. I felt that so so actually that because of that episode, well, I start to put more things in place. Yeah, in case touch wood something, where's the wood? Touch wood. If I go first, lah. Yeah. Death has always been a certainty. That's what I like about Anjali. It has to be a certainty. Endless topics that we can talk about. Dying to meet you. Welcome to my podcast.